Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today, in case the sparkly little Christmas dress was not enough of a hint, we are going to be taking a look at some of my top gift ideas slash a little bit of a gift guide for Christmas this year. Now this isn't going to be a completely exhaustive list. If I talked about everything that I loved, we would be here for hours. So I am going to try to go through things fairly quickly. I will link to anything that's still available, hopefully everything will be, down in the description box. So if you want to buy a specific thing, you can find it down there. I will also try and use chapters so you can kind of skip ahead to the thing that you're interested in. If there's anything you have questions about or need more information about, feel free to drop me a question down in the comments and I'm so happy to answer them. And all of these things are going to be things that I actively love and use every day. And I do want to start out by saying that I feel like experience gifts, especially as you get older, are always going to be some of the absolute best gifts that you can give. And I know that a lot of times more like experiential gifts can be a lot more expensive, so it's not always realistic for everybody. Sometimes you need to stick to a very small budget, so there are going to be lots of things that I'm going to show today that are very, very inexpensive. You could use as a stocking stuffer, or if you're on a low budget, you could use as your primary gift to somebody. I also do want to acknowledge that I feel like Christmas has become very capitalism heavy, where you feel like you have to spend a lot of money on every single person. I know I have in previous years not been in the right mindset to want to give gifts to people and I do feel like unfortunately some people get really really offended by that. This year however I am feeling really good, I'm doing well mentally and I love giving gifts so I cannot wait for people to open their presents this year. I have some really really good ones and a couple things that I'm not going to show in case those people watch the video. But I digress, let's start with airy leggings. Now I have talked about these leggings so many freaking times at this point. If you shopped them over Black Friday, which unfortunately this video was not ready before Black Friday, but they were only $35 and you can get them that cheap at other times of year. So if you are planning on getting them for a gift and they're full price right now, keep checking back. <laughs> Set yourself a reminder, check back every couple days. They will go on sale again. These are the Airy Real Me crossover flare leggings, but they do also have just regular leggings. They have crossover waist, non-crossover waist. The real thing that you're looking for is the Airy Real Me part all of those leggings incredible super soft super stretchy i will warn you i tried the real me like waffle knit ones and they were see-through any of the normal fabric airy real me leggings and i will link specifically to the ones that i have tried down below they're incredible. I would go with the person's usual size. If anything, if you're unsure, I would size down rather than sizing up because they're very, very stretchy and super, super comfortable. These leggings are $35 when they're on sale or even cheaper for the regular non-flare version. They come in short lengths and I feel like these rival Lululemon aligns for comfort. Absolutely incredible. I think everybody should have them and they make a great gift. Now on the same vein, still another Airy product, they released these flurry sets. So they're like a very comfy, cozy, super soft set. And they did come in a couple different colors, but I got the white. Super cute, ultra soft. People could easily wear this, like open it Christmas morning and wear it all day as like a cute little comfy set. I do think that these will disintegrate eventually in the washing machine and or shrink if you ever put them in hot water. But as a gift, I do think that they are incredibly cute, very soft, and most people would really, really appreciate them. Now on the same vein, as these airy cozy sets. I of course have to mention NYX because I freaking love them. If you want a more expensive but significantly more sturdy, comfy, cozy, soft set, the cozy sets from NYX that are like a long sleeve top and a pair of joggers, these are incredible. I have a pair from Christmas last year that I wear probably a few times a week and they look just as good today as they did then. I wash them in the normal washing machine, lay them flat to dry. They'll last you a very long time and super comfy and soft. And then of course, I highly, highly recommend the NYX Modal PJs. These are almost the only PJs I wear now. I have so many other ones. They're just not as good. 
These are premium pajamas. They're expensive, but they last so long and they get comfier literally every single time you wash them. These I'm planning on gifting to almost every woman that I know, truly. I have purchased so many pairs of these to gift to people because they are, in my opinion, the best pajamas in the world. Now sticking to the like clothing and comfy vein for a minute, I highly recommend reading socks. If you know somebody who's like cold a lot or who just loves to be comfy in the winter, you can get these from a lot of different places. I personally got these ones from Indigo a few years ago, but I'll see if I can find like a similar pair in case you're interested. I'm sure you can get them cheaper than the Indigo ones, but they are basically a gigantic pair of socks with like Sherpa fleece on the inside super warm, so comfy, and the best thing to put on when it's like snowing outside, you've got your jammies on, and you're just gonna relax, do some reading, play a video game, watch TV. They're perfect. Highly, highly recommend. Now, before we move away from clothing related gifts, I have to give an honorable mention to sheer text tights. If you know somebody that already wears tights with a lot of outfits, these are amazing. They are $130 regular price. However, they often go on sale for as low as like $30 a pair. And these are like unbreakable tights. So I've had these ones for more than a year and they look perfect still. And I wear tights very often, minimum once a week, sometimes more. They're just very, very good. I saw that they had new colors and stuff for Christmas. Like they have red and green, they have glittery gold ones, all kinds of really cute stuff. So they do limited edition drops, but even just getting somebody one pair of the standard classic sheer tights, these are tights that are gonna last them forever. And every time they put them on, they're gonna be like, wow, I'm so happy that Jamie bought these for me. So great gift idea. Now I have a couple of cute little like beauty gift ideas. The first of course being the Kitsch Heatless Hair Curling Set. And once again, you can get this from other brands that are not Kitsch, but I highly recommend getting one that has the bendable wire inside. So from like a real brand and not just getting a cheap one off Amazon. And the reason I say that I've tried multiple of the Amazon ones and they've all been garbage so far. So I curl my hair with this almost every single day. Definitely like you, before I film videos, I usually do it. I just leave it in overnight. I've also just left it in for a couple of hours while I'm getting ready if I need like quick curls. Easier on your hair than curling it and I'm lazy. I hate taking time to curl my hair. So this works perfectly for me and I absolutely recommend it. And for some reason, I forgot to grab it and bring it in with me, but satin wrapped hair towels from Kitsch, I also think would make absolutely incredible gifts or the satin pillowcases. Once again, they could be from other brands as well, but I know that Kitsch is a good brand. All things that like help you do your hair and keep your hair feeling a little bit healthier. And especially going into winter, I know my hair gets so dry. So having some like nice luxe satin products that aren't super expensive to buy, but feel really luxe and expensive, I think is a great thing to have in the holidays. Now for something that I think would be a good stocking stuffer or a good lower cost gift, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I personally have it in the gummy bear scent flavor. I'm not sure which one, but it is absolutely incredible. I find it very, very moisturizing. I put it on at night before I go to sleep and I wake up and my lips don't feel like they're like cracked and dry, which in the winter they usually do. They have so many different scents that you can pick and I feel like it just makes for a really good, cute gift. Now, excuse the fact that I always have like wounds all over my hands, but another thing that I really recommend is Hollow Taco Nail Polish. I love nail polish. I love doing my nails. Most nail polish, I feel like, flakes off almost instantaneously. Hollow Taco, amazing. It is a YouTuber's brand, Christine's brand, and I feel like it is absolutely some of the best nail polish out there. They have all kinds of really fun, funky colors cool toppers. 
Once again, it's not super expensive. I feel like it would make a really nice gift for somebody that you know does their nails a lot. And you can get them a couple things that are really, really unique, like really cool holographic toppers, or like the one that I have on today is a gold flake topper. Now a few more just like miscellaneous things that I think are really cute. Number one is Woodwick candles. So I bought this candle maybe a little over a month ago and it's like halfway gone because I burn it constantly. It has a cross shaped wood wick inside. So when you light this, it like crackles and sounds like you're sitting beside a fire. Smells amazing, sets the ambiance. And I feel like nobody can have enough candles. I personally love getting candles as a gift and these ones are just so good. I will see if I can find a link to find them online, but I bought this one just in a local flower shop. So they usually always have really cutie little gift things. If you are kind of stuck and you need something else small for somebody, definitely check out your local gift shop. Now this one obviously is going to be a little bit specific to people who drink alcohol in your life and it does have some water spots on it. I clearly didn't do a good job of cleaning it last night, but I picked up these adorable little light pink champagne flutes with like a gold rim from indigo they also had wine glasses and little i don't know how to pronounce it coupe glasses hopefully i said that right i just feel like they're really cute very festive if you know somebody who hosts a lot or who loves a good cocktail i feel like something like this like a premium and more personalized feeling glassware can be really cute what i do not recommend and this might get me in hot water is just getting somebody like a whiskey set with whiskey stones and glasses. My husband drinks like, I, not a lot, but like when he drinks, he drinks whiskey usually. And he's gotten so many gift sets of whiskey glasses and whiskey stones. I feel like it's just a little bit of a, not necessarily a cop out, but it's on every gift idea list. So everybody ends up with a million of them. Another really cute little gift idea is a name necklace. So a necklace that just has the person's name on it. My mom personally got me this one from Oak and Luna for my birthday in August. I've worn it pretty much every single day since. It still looks absolutely beautiful. You can get them in different finishes like gold, white gold, platinum all kinds of different things. And obviously you customize it to the name that you want. And I absolutely love it. I also think if you have like a friend group that has like funny nicknames for each other, or you have like a funny little saying, you could get that on a necklace instead, which could be really, really funny. But like I said, I'll link to this one below because I know that these ones are good, but you can definitely find these other places or even on Etsy if you don't like this brand or you want a different look. Now this is something a little different, but that I'm including because I think sometimes women especially tend to only get like ultra girly beauty gifts when a lot of times there are a lot of us who might be a little bit nerdier and I think that that's great. So one recommendation that I have for like the fantasy lovers in your life is really any books by Brandon Sanderson, but I really, really recommend this box set which has the Mistborn trilogy in it if they've not already read it or if they have but they maybe don't own all three. This is a really interesting series because it is like a self-contained fantasy epic and I feel like we don't see that as much anymore. The protagonist is also a woman, which I think is really cool, and a young woman at that. It has twists and turns. It has a definite like beginning, middle, end, which I think a lot of times writers now will like keep writing a series over and over and over again. And like you get to a point where you're maybe kind of bored or where things get predictable, you know what's gonna happen. This, because it's only three books, you never get a chance to be like, oh, I know what's gonna happen. I had guesses and I was so completely and utterly wrong. <laughs> and if the person loved this series, there is another series set 300 years in the future in the same world, but like with different characters, obviously, because it's 300 years later. Cannot recommend it enough. Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Excellent little three books and you're done type series. Now I don't have the physical games with me, but I'll show pictures of what they look like. Some board games that I really recommend. Number one, 
Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Absolutely my favorite board game ever. I have played hundreds of hours of it and just depending on the group that you play it with and like who ends up being the traitor in it, it can be wildly different every single time. Endless replayability. I will note though that I do not recommend the expansion for it because the haunts were not well tested and I feel like a lot of them are not good. But definitely get the original base game. You can play it with family, friends, people who don't normally play board games because it's cooperative at the beginning. It's cooperative until it's not. So you can help them out. And I feel like that makes for like a really fun game experience. If you're looking for more of like a party game that you can involve quite a few people, and that is easy to explain and like really fun. My two recommendations are Munchkin and Unstable Unicorns, both of which I have played also hundreds of times. Very fun, very different depending on the people that you're playing it with. I would say Munchkin can be a little bit more brutal, so you definitely want to play it with people who are not going to get sad if they get backstabbed, if they get screwed over, because that will happen. That does happen in Unstable Unicorns too, but I feel like it's just like a cuter game, so people are more likely to laugh it off, whereas Munchkin feels a little bit more brutal. In terms of slightly more complicated games, if you have a group of friends that really love board games or that are okay with like learning something a bit more complicated, I would recommend Terra Mystica. I feel like it's great. Definitely more complicated. A lot of stuff you need to like focus on all at the same time and very hefty rule books, but very fun, very satisfying. Once people have played it once, I feel like they kind of figure it out and it's, you're good to go. Mansions of Madness, that's a very interesting game. If your group loved Betrayal, I feel like they will love Mansions of Madness as well. It is a similar feel where it's like kind of spooky, kind of supernatural. You're trying to like solve murders and solve cases as detectives, but you also play with an app. So you have like either a tablet or a phone or a laptop at the table with you and it adds a little bit of randomness and it's like fully voice acted. So when you go to like talk to an NPC, you actually get to like have a conversation with them, which is kind of cool. And on that note, if you have any board game recommendations, definitely let me know. I love board games. My whole friend group loves board games. So we have played many of them. These are just a couple of the ones that I really like and recommend. One other thing that I think is really important to try and do when you're shopping for Christmas, don't just buy everything on Amazon. And I know that it can be hard to not do that because it's so easy and so convenient but i do try and make a concerted effort like if i'm going to buy a board game i will try and either physically go to a place or find a small retailer and buy from them direct if i'm going to buy somebody a set of earrings i'm going to buy it from a small local place as an example these ones that i'm wearing right now are from sunday brunch which is a local entrepreneur based in toronto that makes lovely earrings and i know that it's not always realistic to do that but i do think that it means so much more to a small business owner to get your sale than it does to amazon so of course there are still going to be things that you need to go to a bigger store to buy but if you can try and shop local or shop small for a couple things, it does mean a lot. And with that, I already feel like this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to stop there, but I will also list a couple other things that I really love and that I recommend down in the description box. If you have any fantastic gift ideas that you would love to share with people, definitely put those down in the comments. I would love to see them. And like I said before, if you have any questions about anything that I showed or you're interested in like a more thorough review, definitely let me know down in the comments for most of the things I have made like very in-depth review videos for them. So I can link you to that and just give like a quick TLDR of my thoughts. And with that, I wish you a very successful Christmas shopping experience. I am pretty much done. I could maybe use one more small thing, 
But at this point, I feel very good about like everything that I got. I think people are really gonna love them. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the big red subscribe button found down below to follow along, see the videos in the new year. I've got lots of exciting stuff planned. Please do also note that I will be on vacation next week, which I'm very excited about. So I don't know for sure if I will post any videos next week. We'll see. I think it's going to be if I feel like it or not which is kind of exciting. I usually, when I go on vacation, still kind of commit to a specific posting schedule. This time I'm trying not to. I really want it to be like a full vacation. So thank you very much. I'll see you definitely when I'm back from vacation, maybe sooner, and I hope that you have a fantastic week. Bye! Mm -hmm.